We're actually leaving uh, Marina Le Marin after I think it was three long weeks. No, more. More. The boat is still not fixed. Uh, we still have, we're still waiting for parts. But <laughs> it feels so good to leave. We're gonna have a nice sail. And then we'll get the spare parts to St. Lucia instead. And there, two friends are visiting us with a little baby. I'm so happy to leave. Yeah, me too. I'm so ready. I'm so done. Since we have the problems with the rigging, we don't really want to put too much sails up. So we just have a little bit of head sail out and we're motoring down. We made it to St. Lucia. After the sail down from Martinique down to St. Lucia, we arrived safe and sound in Rodney Bay Marina. After just one night, Kiki and Per from California arrived to hang out with us for 10 days. Look who is the ride! We hung out for a few nights in the marina in Rodney Bay, getting Kiki and Per installed on the boat and waiting for the parts that were gonna arrive from Martinique. So this uh, sucks. What is wrong with this picture? Yeah. This is the new part that we got yesterday and we were super happy. Uh, but now when we're laying it out, uh, we see that they're both for the starboard side and this one is supposed to be mirrored for the port side. And it's taken a month of waiting for something that... That's wrong. That's wrong. Just... Today we're leaving and going to Marigo. Yeah, and we'll try to find some Wi-Fi so we can try to sort this. We're here in beautiful Marigo Bay. We're paying 30 US dollars for a boy, but it's kind of worth it because you get access to that resort. And here we have uh, our new friend. I think we've introduced you before, but this is the Rock 25. We're so happy to have a new anchor. And the last anchorage we were in was in Rodney Bay, and we were just slowly, slowly dragging our Bruce anchor over the hard sandy bottom and I actually dove down on it and tried to dig it in by hand but it just, just couldn't get it to penetrate the, the bottom. So this time we're gonna mount the rock now and hopefully everything will be a lot smoother from now on. I got a Some interesting stuff going on here. The harbor master was just by and borrowed a bunch of lines. So now our boat, Yamaya, is tied up to the buoy behind us. Here, so we're in a straight line. 
And then this boat right here is tied up to our boy. Because apparently there's a huge ship coming in that's gonna drop the anchor here. And then it's gonna back in to that slot over there. Let's see how that one goes. Ah, a little bit in that contact. Sonic GH5? No. Uh, Canon ADT. Oh, right, okay, yeah. So, we're leaving Marigo Bay now? Yeah, feels good. Two good nights. Not yeah. Cool time. So, now we're going to an anchorage where hopefully we'll get some more wind into the boat. It's been very hot in Marigo Bay. Anse Cojon, I think Lucia. This is the resort. That's a lunch restaurant. They have a restaurant up here as well. But you're not allowed to bring kids, so we couldn't go. Awesome place though. School. School. In Anse Cojon, we spent a few nights living life on the hook. It was a really nice little anchorage that we had almost completely to ourselves each night. But during the afternoons, it got flooded by snorkeling tours from the nearby resorts. We really enjoyed our time here and thought it was a good time to hear what Kiki and Pair thought about life on board. Hi, um, my name is Pear. Um, I'm here with William here, seven months old, little rascal. Um, so we're actually visiting from California, where we live, just a few years back. So. Uh, to opportunity to visit these adventures on their journey on their sailing boat. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah, yeah. It's been swimming in the ocean and swimming pools and playing with his god brother, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Leo, your new best friend. So you need some ahead. Yeah. So we, yeah, it's been been really awesome. I mean, I was kind of worried bringing this guy to the boat and I haven't been on a sailing boat in like 10 years um, mm -hmm. so I was kind of nervous about that but um, everything worked out I guess better than I um, sort of uh, thought beforehand um, and the only thing that's been like the hard part is like actually managing him and Leo you know it's, yeah. it's almost like getting a taste of having two kids uh, even though I'm like taking care of them like one percent of the time but it's still like I don't know just being around two small toddlers is uh, full action yeah it's <laughs> yeah, like to say the least it's uh, an unforgettable experience yeah look looky here Aww. <laughs> mentioned the food has been way better than I would ever imagine oh. so <laughs> good job you guys um, I'm so happy to hear oh, that so, so, nice. so we were talking about who you are who I am I'm the skinny dipping person <laughs> no you're the one who I can see your bikini <laughs> <laughs> you went up in her dinghy yeah. <laughs> but but first, cut. <laughs> now you yeah, have like cut. a yeah, picture cut. in picture of yeah. that happening mm. as we speak. There. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can look at that again and again and again and yeah, again and again. Mm. Looping, zoom in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's loop it. Mm. <laughs> 
What an amazing balloon you have. Mm. You guys, you're spoiling us. Do you know, if you ever see this boat, ask them if you can come for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I talked about You'll that. get noodles. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. you won't get noodles. We already talked about how do we actually boil noodles. Ask for Stephanie's gluten-free lasagna. Yeah. Or the, uh, what was uh, Clad coca. That's what you should have. Clad coca. Mud cake. So, was it as you expected? I don't know if I knew what to expect. Mm -hmm. I just knew, like, I was terrified. Mm -hmm. I have a baby. He's been, <laughs> he's been out, he hasn't been outside the US even once. And are we gonna go traveling across the world, it felt like, and then stay on a boat? <laughs> In the Caribbean? Yeah. Well, if you've done it, we can do it, right? And I felt kind of confident. You, I sent you a bunch of questions. Asked you, you know, everything from sunscreen to swimming diapers to... Yeah? No, but what other expectations did I have? So, I've never yeah. been to the Caribbean. No. And I've never been on a sailing boat for more than, I don't know, was it two nights? One night when we stayed with you? Yeah, I one think? night. I think it was just one night. Just, but maybe... Barely it's... even counts. Yeah. So, and I actually thought that the problem was going to be pear. Complaining yeah, about the heat. About... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do do they have an AC? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's been awesome. Mm -hmm. um, he's not complained. Um, I'm the one, I think, who's complaining most about it, the heat. But yesterday we had the first chilly night. Oh, or yeah. Is it, uh, 26 12. degrees. 26. And you've been so happy. <laughs> He's even been bathing from the boat. Have, uh, 10 knots in from uh, 120 degrees of our starboard side so we can't put up the mainsail and we don't want to put up the headsail so we are motoring along to this amazing coastline Getting cash? So you can show on the pants if he wants more money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Just, uh, Do I look rich? Does, does it look like I can afford more money? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey. And Kiki and Power are leaving us tomorrow, so we're celebrating an uh, awesome 10 days together. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Cheers that. that. Sula o boda e pina colada. It's gonna be an empty boat very soon. I can hold that. Yeah, you don't want to miss to bring that one, the diaper. Thanks. <laughs> 